Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is going to be a very quick video. Just a few hours ago, Ridwan uploaded a clip of his recent interview with Dr. Bart Ehrman, which he announced that he was going to publish very soon. The title of the video is The Quran Credible About Jesus. Bart Ehrman says no. As usual in this video, Ridwan treats his subscribers, his followers, his fanboys as kids. He really treats them as little kids. He uploads anything, even if that thing that he uploads goes against him, and he will just put the title because he knows that his brainless fans are going to believe what the title says regardless of what the video actually says. So the title is, Is the Quran Credible About Jesus? Bart Ehrman says no. Let's now go and watch the video. From a historical perspective, would it ever be reasonable to dismiss all the evidence for a historical figure for 600 years and then only take a scripture that, came, that comes 600 years later as the most credible source, such as in the case of Jesus where he lived and died and then 600 years later the Quran came and told us what really happened? No, I don't think it's cred not historically credible, but if, if you're a Muslim, then you would say that, it, you know, it's an act of God. And then, so history isn't really what matters anymore. Um, and so if it, if history doesn't matter, you can make theological claims. If history matters, then obviously sources written 40 or 50 years after uh, are more likely to be based on reliable tradition than sources written 600 years later, especially when you can show that the, the source written 600 years later is dependent on these earlier sources. <laughs> and so I well, I have never seen a more shameless individual than Ridwan. And I have never seen more stupid fans than his. Bart Ehrman here is talking about the Quran as a historical document. So you're not a genius, Ridwan, to get Dr. Bart Ehrman to say that the Quran is not a historical document for Jesus. Because we Muslims believe that the Quran is a revelation of God which tells us about the true story of Jesus. It's not a historical document. But the most important point in this video is that Dr. Bart Ehrman is talking about the Quran as a historical. Could the Quran be used as a historical document that tells us about the story of Jesus? And Bart Ehrman said no. But, but Bart Ehrman didn't say that all the stories in the Quran are false as the misleading title is trying to suggest. Because in the previous interview, Bart Ehrman himself admitted that the Quran got several things about Jesus correct. ...religion and the Islamic way of thinking, of simply uh, regarding him as a prophet and worshipping uh, Allah or God alone and so on. Uh, what could you say about that? Um, so I would say that there are some elements of truth in that, uh, historically. Uh, and some some things I think I would consider to be problems. But um, on the basic level, the idea that the earliest followers of Jesus thought that he was a human uh, and that he worshipped only one God and they also worshipped only one God, I would say that that's true. Uh, that is true. I think that these are... So if all you wanted from this clip is to get Bart Ehrman to say that the Quran is not a historical document, well, that's not quite impressive, Ridwan, because if you ask Muslims, they're going to tell you the same thing. If, if you're asking about historical sources, then yes, the Quran is not a historical source for Jesus. We Muslims believe that God revealed the true story through the Quran. Let me just give you an example that you will resonate with, Ridwan. Let's say that after 600 years from now, the only video we have of you is the one where you denied that you approved of incest. Now we all know that you did approve of incest, but the only historical source we have says that you doesn't approve of incest. Hypothetically speaking, let's say that someone got a revelation that Ridvan approved of incest. That revelation is not going to be treated as a historical source, but it is definitely true. You did approve of incest. So even though from a historical perspective, you didn't approve of incest. The truth is, you did approve of incest. So when Dr. Bart Ehrman says that the Quran is not a historically credible source for Jesus, that doesn't mean that the Quran is wrong about Jesus. I'm sure the example of incest made it very clear to you, Ridvan. And by the way, you're not going to deceive us with these short clips. We want the full interview, the full an edited interview and also we are still waiting for the rest of 
the end of Farid Response series. You seem to be trying to distract your gullible fans from these things. But beware, the detective is watching you, Apus.